to these drivers, this could well be the biggest race in history. New records are set each year, and future races will probably be driven even faster. This race is run at a slower speed. The competition is still there, and the results are just as exciting. Here's a big race that no one wants to lose. Everyone's trying for the lead, but there will be only one winner. A big race went on here, too. There was a lot at stake. The challenge was terrific. The payoff will be a successful harvest. This was a race with the weather. A well-run race begins with a good start. If a drop is put in on time, the benefits of the best rains of the season can be realized. As a crop grows, as it matures, or when it's ready for harvest, then it will be determined how well this race was run. Are you equipped to take advantage of ideal weather conditions? Insufficient power can keep you from getting your crops planted on time and can cause you to spend endless days in the field during the hottest part of the season and still result in your crop not maturing before the start of the winter snows. It takes timeliness to win the race with the weather. There is an ideal time to plow, disc, or plant. Your timeliness can best be measured by the result at harvest. The right choice of power, which will perform with the best efficiency for your operation, gives you a good start in the big race. This power must be matched with the right tillage equipment. It must be matched with the proper equipment for seedbed preparation. The tractor, matched to the right size plow, and teamed with a top capacity disc, can help assure that the grain gets in or the planting is done at the most favorable time. This grower missed the ideal planting conditions by not having his field ready. He may not lose the race, but he won't finish in the top money. When the soil temperature is right and there is sufficient moisture, your crop will get off to a good start if your fields are ready at the right time. How much horsepower do you have? Or is insufficient power one of the reasons you're not finishing the race in the top money? Are you using your horsepower properly? Or are you wasting it on improperly matched equipment? Your chances of being in the lead will be governed by your choice of equipment. It wasn't very long ago when this was all the driver had to look at. There's no tail with this view, only facts. And it represents many more horses than that view of yesterday. Along with increased power, operator conveniences have come a long way. The seat can be positioned for just the ride or comfort the operator desires, and all the controls are within easy reach. The right tractor power is available today for any size farm or type of operation. What size tractor should you have? 35 horsepower in a one row? Or a two row size? 48? 54? 75 horsepower? Or over 100 horsepower? That will be for you alone to decide. Here are a few facts to think of, however. With a constant speed of three and a half miles per hour, a 35 horsepower tractor pulling two 16 inch bottoms covers an acre per hour. Stepping up to 45 horsepower using three 16 inch bottoms, you can do the same work in 40 minutes. Having sufficient power to pull four 16s at this speed, the time is reduced to 30 minutes. While a 75 horsepower tractor pulling a 5 16 inch plow does it in 24 minutes. Big power is recognized if you're using a 7 16 inch plow to turn an acre every 17 minutes. Somewhere in this wide range of available power is the tractor that will help you get your crops in at the ideal time for top harvest yields. Now horsepower alone is only part of the story in farm power. How it is applied is more important. 
The application of power in this tractor was tops in its day. But when you stopped and changed gears, it was hard to get started again. Tractors of this era often seemed to get smaller when the going got tough. Today, modern engineering lets this D-series tractor grow bigger when the same conditions are encountered. Pulling the hand clutch back increases its pull power by 42%. It lets you get through those tough spots with ease, or matches ground speed to fit harvesting conditions while providing continuous running live power takeoff through eight forward speeds. Tilling the soil is one of the first operations required at the start of each new season. This tractor develops 35 horsepower from its high torque engine and set new fuel economy records in its recent official test. It will develop high torque even at low engine RPM. A live hydraulic system with a two-spool valve provides fingertip implement control. The economical performance of this tractor makes it an ideal cost cutter on any job where 35 horsepower is the requirement. Where more capacity is needed, the D-15 tractor with 48 and 9 tenths horsepower has what it takes for efficient farming. It can handle coil shank field cultivators with ease for summer fallow work, stubble mulching, or in fall plowed land before planting. Using chisel plows, which require an average of three to five horsepower per shank, the D-15 walks right along. A tractor of this size can be the busiest one on the farm. It has power for the required field work and convenience with ease of handling for year-round application on any sized farm. Where four plow power is needed, this unit will turn the world over at the rate of an acre every 30 minutes. Its 55 horsepower gives you a new feel of power and ease of handling. The hand clutch really makes this D-17 grow big when the going gets tough. It has the capacity to disc an acre every eight minutes, so you can keep ahead of your planting and seeding operations to help win the race on larger acreage. If you need still greater capacity, this five-plow tractor will offer more earning power. The D-19 has 75 horsepower at the power takeoff and over 7,500 pounds of weight. It has the capacity to plow over 25 acres a day. With a 20-foot disc, you can cover up to 85 acres. And with six or eight row equipment, you could cover up to 125 acres in a day. The giant of the tractor lineup, the D-21, with its more than 100 drawbar horsepower, answers the challenge of large acreage. It will do things for you in a big way, such as plowing 30 to 45 acres in a day. With large wing chisel plows, it gives you the capacity to operate at the rate of 10 acres per hour. These chisel plows have a rugged, all-welded box frame. Heavy four-inch square members are spaced 28 inches apart to provide exceptional trash clearance and give you a shank every foot of working width. This implement capacity gives you the greatest utilization of your horsepower. Horsepower is the prime factor in your farming operation, but there are other timely factors to consider. You are losing part of your capacity to produce if you have to take a lot of time to get ready. For instance, in hooking onto tillage tools, wheels have to be properly spaced. If you had a 55 horsepower tractor and could save an hour's time by modern engineering, you will increase your plowing capacity by two acres. Front wheel spacing is just as important. This too is changed by engine power. Extra traction is yours for the asking. 